welcome to Couples Therapy by Steven. I'm Steven. I'm Erin. And I know you said this before, but we're back. <laughs> That's right. We're it's, back. it's been a minute. Um, it's yeah. good to be here. Yeah, we, we've uh, we've missed being able to um, do videos. And um, today we're actually just thinking about engagement. Um, uh, we have, we, we do some premarital um, work with couples and um, we've been focusing a little bit more on that lately. And so that's been fresh on our minds. Um, and it's been interestingly fresh on our minds because we had an interesting engagement. We did. Why don't you tell us about it? Well, I think we'll, I think we'll like tell the whole story um, at some point. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole story is a little too long to tell, but here's the highlights. We were engaged three times. <laughs> um, I broke our engagement twice. On the third round, we made it. Um, that's, uh, that's the quick highlights. Uh, but we were just thinking about that. Obviously, uh, that reflects that there was, there's definitely some stress, um, anxiety, some difficulty um, during that period of life for us. And I, I think one of the things that we notice is that's true for a lot of people. Yes, it's true for, I would dare say, most, perhaps all couples. It, yeah. is, it is a stressful time planning a wedding. And um, I... And, and like thinking about this massive commitment that you're forever. making of, mm -hmm. of forever. And there's um, something about... Or at least you hope, you hope it's forever. You yeah, know, I know that's that, the intention, generally. That is the intention, yes. Um, yeah. There's something about as soon as you know um, that you have, you have committed to this, but you aren't married yet. Yeah. And it sort of leaves this like... The way I think I've recently talked about it is like, I'm going to do this <laughs> with you forever yeah like, and, it, and it just runs through your mind over and over or it can um, yeah. and so we came up with um three things um that we learned from our two broken engagements and one that lasted uh <laughs> that we wanted to share with you and the, the first one is just to end this engagement stage of life slow down yes go ahead did i interrupt you no 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 i just think that there's so much going on and there's so much bustle and excitement that it can be easier just to keep pressing, keep going. Well, there's a lot of anxiety too. There's a lot of dynamics. You're now integrating a lot of opinions, a lot of different uh, family members. And, and really that, that puts us into a heightened state of stress. And when we're in a heightened state of stress, like we our, our bodies have a stress response system. And, and sometimes if we're operating kind of at a 10 all the time, it, we're really diminished in our capacity um, to respond in a healthy relational way. Um, and sometimes we just end up reacting rather than relating well. Steven does that. I don't do that. Yeah, yeah, I'm the only one. Now, obviously, well, I'm the one who broke the engagement, so obviously <laughs> I, I was the one who did that. Um, yeah, but, but we do spend way more time reacting than relating. Right. And, and the whole idea is like, you know what? Your wedding is important, and you want it to Very be beautiful important. and wonderful. And our wedding is, was spectacular. Right, but it's not more important than your relationship. And so we really recommend that couples at least set aside one evening a week during this planning engagement phase where they say, you know what, we're not talking about the wedding. We're not talking about logistics. We're not talking about any of these things. Or we're anything that will stress us out. Right. right. We, we just want to... Imagine and talk about our relationship and what we hope for and what we dream about uh, in terms of the couple we want to be. So, number one, slow down. Slow down. Number two, don't be afraid to be honest about being afraid. Yeah. So, the fuller story of our broken engagements hopefully will come soon. But I was really afraid. Um, I had been afraid before we got I was engaged. Too. And most people are. I think it's understandable for all the reasons we said. We're intending on forever, and it and it activates a lot of fear. Mm -hmm. And and rather than communicating my fears to Stephen early on, I just kept trying to push them down. I wasn't really wanting to feel them myself, much less communicate them. Um, I felt scared and vulnerable, and I thought. Well yeah, so this is what happened. Real quick, we had an, a wonderful engagement story. We went on this beautiful hike. Uh, we were by this beautiful mountain lake. Pop the question. It was wonderful. It was it was epic. 
Um, and we did that in the morning and then we came back down from the mountain that afternoon and I was exhausted from the planning and from all the anxiety. And one of the ways I responded he fell asleep for four hours. So like, so it's like, yes, I do. I'm so excited. And I was, I was out <laughs> and, and Aaron is sitting there with this napping fiance, right? In this most exciting moment. And it, it yeah. just re it created a lot of fear and anxiety. And um, I pretended I was fine. I was like, oh, he's worked hard. And I, and I just like pretended outwardly. I was trying to tell myself, coaching myself uh, too. Um, but it, it created a lot of fear. It well, started to build and it started to grow. And when I it started to make Aaron think like, oh, he's not excited. Like he doesn't, he, he asked me to marry him, but then he like fell asleep. And so what happened, and you said this, like you, it's kind of like you started to filter our relationship through that potent, that fear and that anxiety of like, oh, do, is he really excited about me or not? And once you do that, the answer is always going to be no. I was just going to say know? that you've, you've probably done that in your life and you always find the answer you're looking for. So I began to just grow yeah. and grow like he doesn't really want to marry me, yeah. which of course made me say, I don't really want to marry someone who yeah. doesn't want to marry me. And things went kind of haywire. And, and I think what, would have been, I mean, I think as, as we've talked about it, Aaron's kind of like, you know what? I wish I could have that day, that day of it just said like, Hey, I'm feeling like, I mean, we're, this is supposed to be really exciting and you're sleeping and, and you know, hopefully we could have had a good conversation about it. I, you know, I don't know if we would have, or if we wouldn't, but, but it's, it's naming that fear early and, and being okay. Like there's going to be things you're afraid of yes. and you're in your relationship in general, but also in your engagement. Now you're, you're going to wonder like, is, it, is this really like, really? Like is we're, this we're doing natural? this? Is this normal? Is this okay? Does this mean we're not supposed to get married? Mm -hmm. I, I wish I wouldn't have been afraid for myself and I wish I wouldn't have been afraid yeah. to tell Stephen. Yeah. So, and the other, sorry, so yeah. So slow down. Number one, number two, um, don't be afraid to talk about um, the things that you're afraid um, about. And number three was the thing that brought us back together is don't be afraid to talk about what you hope for. Mm -hmm. I finally was, this was after we our after our second broken engagement, we were meeting with a therapist to kind of try and figure out how to operate as a defunct engaged couple. Um, it was so strange. We still loved each other. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, yeah it was, ugh. Um, we were struggling, everyone. We were having a tough time. <laughs> and she was trying to, she was great, um, offering support and yeah. counsel, like Aaron, who, who can you reach out to? And I, there's plenty of people. I have great friends and a good support system. But what I realized in that moment was who I wanted was Steven. Mm. Um, he's who I wanted to talk with. He was my person and he was who I wanted to be my person. And, and in that, I realized I don't, I do want to marry him. And I think he wants to marry me. He but, kept asking. But, but you have to be, even in that moment. So Aaron could have named that hope and it could have not, it could have not happened. It still could have not happened. And yet I remember that moment. I remember when she, she said that. And I, I, in a, in a sense, I, I, I kind of stored it away because it was still like, oh, she's not going to like, because this is happening. Um, she doesn't hate me. We're not like, <laughs> we're never going to like it, it, it created some sense of hope for, for me as well. And, and, you know, again, you know, we'll get to the story one day, but, but we were able to come back around and, and, and part of that was because she was able to speak and, and name that hope. And so, um, you know, it's hard to do. Hope is hard yeah. to do. And, and you gotta, you have to do that in your engagement. You have to, you have to be willing to say to your partner what you hope for, what you hope things will be like, the things that you're afraid might not happen. And in that way, you can know how to work towards that together as a couple so that you can, um, be a couple that lasts and creates connection. Yeah. 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 And is is I think you said like, happily connected ever after. <laughs> yes, um, something it, like that. It, it is it is possible. Um, so, well, if you're out there and, and you're engaged, um, don't worry. Don't be afraid. <laughs> uh, slow down. Or just say that you are. Yeah, yeah, slow down. Say that you are afraid. Say the things that you hope for and talk about that with your partner so that you can be connected with each other and, and together. And if you're married for a long time, 
I wonder how that engagement... The, those things still apply. Yes. Slow down. Talk about the things you're afraid of. Talk about the things you hope for. Like, th this is really just about how do you connect with your partner. Um, as a couple. Yeah. Um, and we'd love to hear your stories. We'd yeah, love to yeah, this would be good. Engagement stories that yeah. will help us to want to share yeah. our own. Yeah. Um, it, it would be wonderful to hear your engagement stories. So comment below. Always, hey, don't be afraid to subscribe. And uh, we're glad to be with you again. Uh, we're planning on posting every uh, week on Tuesdays. How do you know? We're still figuring that out, <laughs> but we, we plan on at least uh, posting uh, once a week. And so we look forward to interacting with y'all uh, as the weeks come on. So. Thanks for watching. Good to be with you again. See ya.